Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Classica, where we last left off. I lit myself an incense candle, and hoping to lighten the mood for this scary adventure. By the way, I would like to apologize for the previous episode last week that wasn't exactly meant to happen. Um, unfortunately, we had some errors with the computer, and uh, it just crashed on me, believe it or not. Um, but I believe I have it figured out. I had some kind of corrupted hard drive thing, because it actually happened again uh, when I played a video game on my own time, and uh, things just uh, went downhill. But anyways, believe it or not, we I was able to pick up where I last left off, so we'll check these doors and see if we can make progress, because I believe that last time on Classica, we were supposed to... Um, Gosh, what were we supposed to do? Oh, that's right. We were supposed to get scared crapless out of our pants. So we're going to check 308, because I believe I'm supposed to know what I'm supposed to do. Wait, okay, that's right. Because down here is that fence. We were on the other side, and that girl kicked the key away. So that's where we, we need to grab that key. So I think we go down here. Uh-oh. God, I do not like this orientation. Okay, so we'll just keep walking in hopes that... Okay, never mind, it's just getting closer. Where are, we, where, where are you coming from? Oh, yep. That's what I figured. Alright, we're finally pulling out the gun. Rick James, bitch! Ah, shh, come on. Uh, okay, no, never mind. Alright, so I'm just gonna... Pull out my first aid kit. Do I have health drink, first aid kit? I don't know. I think just to be safe, I'm gonna go the full health. And I'm actually gonna pull out my melee. Nah, I'm gonna keep the gun out. So I think. Okay. There right, we're good. We're good. Nope, nope, nope. Crap. Okay, so we're just gonna grab the key and go. Grab the key and go. Fire escape key. Awesome. Now, on the off chance that there's more creatures, let's just stay there, please. I'd be, I'd be, it'd be an honor for you to just stay put. Nope, nope, okay. Just, just, uh, stay out of my way. So let's check these rooms. Let's see if we can find something safe. And never mind. <gasps> um... <laughs> So that's how we're introduced to Pyramid Head. Hey there, Sunny Jim. You doing okay? <laughs> so that's how the infamous Pyramid Head is introduced. Raping leg dolls. My gosh. What is he doing? What the hell is this? What is- okay, so what is the pyramid supposed to symbolize? Gosh, this is weird. Very, very intense. Okay, yeah, James, sure. Give your position away. I don't think he'll find me now that I've fired off several shots. Very smart, James. Very smart. You're here to find your dead wife. And you foolishly decide to... No, oh, man. Okay. Alright, so let's see if... Is this something important? No, never mind. Just a lamp. Okay. Uh, let's hope these guys are just dead. Did he rape them to death or something? I don't want to know. Alright, I think... I think when I started up Silent Hill 2, I made the mistake of not setting the CPU affinity... So how about this? We're going to go back and save, and at the moment that I save, we are... Oh, crap. 
we are not going to crap. That, that'd be obscene. That would not be something cool to do. But we're going to go down now that we've made a little progress. Save. And at the moment that I save, we are going to jump ahead to when we start making progress again. There you are. All right. So now that I'm going to save, we're going to cut ahead now. Okay, we are back. Sorry about that. Well, we are going to progress now that we have the fire escape key, so now we have to find the fire escape. Now, I headed down the other way, so I'm going to assume that one of these rooms has something else of value. I'm right next to 305, but it looks like it's sealed off. Coming up on a creature right about now. There we go. Yeah. 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 Good. Dang. You get a kick. You. You're dead. Foo. Okay. Um. Nothing else of interest here. Is it can? It can open. Yeah. You can't even interact with that. Okay. Okay. So now, I think we're at the top floor here, top of the stairs. Oh. Okay. So this is just taking us right back to the first floor. Let's try the other direction as we head down the hallway. Plus, we may have to go into one extra room before we're done with this freaky, gosh dang, apartment. I don't like this place as much as you do. So, I believe that's the room with Pyramid Head. We already interacted with that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Lock's broken. Okay, then I think the exit door's coming up. Yes. Okay. So, both these doors are useless now, but we do need to keep going down. The arrows mean you exit. These are all scratched off, meaning you can't go through. What about 303? We did not try 303. And 303 being a nice flat number could mean that there's something of value in there. You just never know. Okay, is this 303? Yes. All right, what'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? And there's creatures. Fantastic. Where are they though? That's the question. Hey buddy, just taking a nap. Sorry man, didn't mean to disturb you. But let's uh, attack you before you attack me. I need to die. Fantastic. Can I walk over you? Okay, cool. Now, empty room. Come on, it's gotta be ammo or health back or something. Why else would I be able to go in here? Please, stay dead. Man, first aid kit, there we go. What'd I tell you? Is this a value? Is that a person? No. Health drink? Fantastic. Alright, is that it for this room? What about in here? I think I see something on the bed. Handgun bullets. Yay! Alright. Uh, I think we are good to go. Now the last one, room we haven't checked, we checked 303, that's the fence there, I believe this door we can't go through. What really freaks me out is that we haven't seen the little girl since we crossed to the other side of that fence, or that gate, or whatever, over here. Meaning, where the hell could she be? Okay, wait, this is the laundry room. More bullets anything of interest here normal washing machine nothing of interest blah 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 well to a college kid a washing mach machine would be plenty of interest because it's necessary so is there nothing I can interact with can you use a key tag attached to it says fire escape got my hand stepped on the first time I tried to get this so I wonder what happened to that kid I wouldn't worry about that, James, because for all we know, she may not be a little girl. She might just be a little freaky. You understand? Okay, so assuming... Okay, so we came from over there from 309, that stairwell. So I guess we can go down this stairwell and see if it leads somewhere? Interesting. Uh, right. So 
I think this is just a linear path. We're just going down. That's barred off. Okay, so this is a completely different stairwell. Meaning, it could be something of use. Ah, first floor. Maybe those rooms are of value? So that's the entrance. That's where we came from. And we didn't explore any of this area, did we? Because that was completely sealed off. What about that red line over there? What does that mean? Now it's unlocked. And wait, th but this isn't where I came from. So I'm on the completely other side. So where does this door lead to? Outside in another area? Or is this another quick way? Well, this is a wonderful shot. Can't see myself through the fence. Okay. Oh, all right. I remember now. I'm a dingus. I am a classic class A F grade idiot. Because that door is where I entered. And when I went over here to explore on a previous episode of Classica, that we couldn't go over here because this door was locked. But now that I came into it from the inside, means that I can go through it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm smart. But okay. Um, I guess next time on Classica, we will discover what's down this dark hallway. Probably more creatures and Pyramid Head and that little girl and hopefully some candy and unicorns and uh, fluffy, happy stuff. Maybe? Eh, probably not. 